Team orders at McLaren have been a hot topic since Oscar Piastri's bold overtake on teammate Lando Norris during the first lap of the Italian Grand Prix. The team is now focused on supporting Norris in his bid for the driver's championship. This may require Piastri to yield to his teammate in the future. However, before the Azerbaijan Grand Prix in Baku, Piastri made it clear, McLaren's team orders won't always force him to bow down for Norris. With Piastri refusing to back down, could McLaren's team dynamic turn into a fierce rivalry? And what will that mean for their championship hopes? The team has faced growing pressure to back Norris, whose title chances have been boosted by McLaren's impressive recent developments. A difficult weekend for Red Bull at Monza has made Verstappen's lead more vulnerable, with only 62 points between him and Norris with eight races left. So far, McLaren has maintained a fair approach between the two drivers, allowing Piastri to challenge Norris in Monza, and even forcing Norris to return a position to Piastri in Hungary. However, this is set to change at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, as team principal Andrea Stella revealed. At the last race in Monza, McLaren had no strict rules apart from avoiding unnecessary risks, leading to two key incidents. Piastri's first lap move on Norris, and the decision not to order Piastri to let Norris pass near the end of the race. It seems likely that such a scenario won't happen again. Either Piastri will avoid making a similar move at the start, or McLaren will step in to prioritize Norris's points, once it's clear Piastri can't improve his position. McLaren enter this weekend's Azerbaijan GP as firm favorites. The MCL 38 is undisputed as the fastest car on the grid, especially since their Zandvoort upgrades. However, McLaren's poor race execution has been costly. As the team prioritized Norris in the title battle, Piastri explains that team orders will only be used in specific circumstances. In the first lap of the Italian GP, Piastri overtook teammate Norris for the lead, forcing Norris to drop behind Leclerc and costing McLaren a key position. This highlighted McLaren's lack of effort in supporting Norris's championship bid against Verstappen. Oscar has already proven himself as a world-class driver. If he consistently outperforms Lando in the upcoming races and stays ahead on track, should he really be expected to give up his position every time for his teammate? The greatest F1 world champions have all dominated on track. If Lando wants a legitimate shot at this title, he'll need to do the same. Stella made it clear that what happened was detrimental to the team and must not happen again. In other words, Piastri can't attempt to pass Norris if it risks the team losing positions and crucial points to rivals. Adding to the complexity is McLaren's tendency for poor starts, with Norris notably struggling to convert pole positions into a lead by the end of the first lap. History shows that trying to help your teammate at the start often backfires. While giving him more space than you would a rival and avoiding contact is essential, deliberately giving him priority in the dash to the first corner goes against a driver's natural instincts. It still needs some more discussion. But I think the main point is, it's not purely just going to be me pulling over for Lando every single race, because that's how none of us want to go racing. Trying to go through all the scenarios is impossible, and we don't want to discuss that publicly. I think the main one is, if we feel that someone has done a much better job on a weekend, whichever way it is, we want that person to be rewarded. And that's where it of course becomes a little bit tricky still. And we need to continue discussing that. It's not simply a blanket, I'm going to be behind Lando in every single race, in every decision that's ever taken from here on out, because I still have things that I want to achieve in the championship, and I'm trying to boost my standing in the driver's championship. Aside from place swapping on track, there may be weekends when Norris is now routinely given priority on strategy, or gets the sole set of updates that are available, when usually the two drivers would alternate such benefits. For the most part, Piastri just has to carry on doing his own thing, which is logical given that the team also needs him to contribute to the constructors' title battle. He's still fighting for his own racing, he's still going out and doing his stuff, and it could be that there's no time this year that he needs to help me. It's more that I've got Oscar's help when needs be, but he's still going out with the intent of every session of fighting for himself. We've had decisions before, and we've had things that we've run to, we've just not publicly said it. So, it's more that we just told you what you want to hear finally than anything else. We've always worked well as a team. I think now there's probably a bit more of a structure to it. And an understanding that we have internally on what positions will change, what scenarios will change, and how we can help one another. And obviously, how he can help me. 
Acknowledging after Monza that they are in a fight for both championship titles, and that Norris is the better positioned of the teammates, McLaren are throwing their full support behind the Briton. McLaren CEO Zach Brown says McLaren are going to work a team to help Lando, while team boss Stella had the conversation with Piastri about giving up a victory. But wanting to enforce team orders could be easier said than done. According to former F1 driver turned Sky pundit Chandhok, he spoke with Stella about McLaren's potential team orders, and to him, it doesn't sound like there is a clear order. We spoke with Andrea Stella briefly, and I asked the question straight up. If Oscar is leading this race on the final lap, and Lando is behind in his slipstream, will you make them swap positions? And he said, no. So still they're not playing the clear number one, number two. The next two weeks will be pivotal in the championship battle for McLaren, Red Bull, and Ferrari. With back-to-back -back races ahead and a one-month break before the American GP, McLaren faces a delicate balancing act in the final eight rounds under Andrea Stella's leadership. When asked about McLaren's choice to prioritize Norris over Piastri, Max had this to say, of course they do what they want, and it's not my problem. I have my own problems at the moment. If you look at it from Oscar's perspective, he's closer to Lando than Lando is to me. They have to deal with that. They were not far apart, also in the championship. Oscar came in as the first driver, and I don't think he is the type to be labeled as the second driver. Verstappen has also warned it is not realistic to expect Red Bull to defend its two titles after the team's slump in form continued at the Italian Grand Prix. At the moment, both championships are not realistic, Max said post-race at Monza on Sunday. For months now, he has complained his car lacks balance, an issue he first highlighted when he finished behind Norris in Miami in May. After finishing fifth in Hungary in July, he raised the issue again, warning that some people at Red Bull need to wake up a little. As McLaren's own rules are tweaked, the Red Bull pair will cooperate in an attempt to keep Verstappen out in front. Horner insists that team orders between his two drivers are clear and that Perez knows 100% that he will be playing a support role to Max this season. Heading into the Azerbaijan Grand Prix this weekend, Piastri has said he will help Norris if the opportunity calls for it. But Horner is happy that Perez understands his position at Red Bull. The Mexican has struggled this season, and there was speculation he would be dropped during the summer break, only to be retained for the rest of the year. Perez famously played a rear gunner role at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix in 2021. When Verstappen beat Lewis Hamilton to the title in the most controversial of circumstances, and Horner expects similar this year, the European races of the 2024 Formula One season are all finished after last weekend's Italian Grand Prix at Monza, with the Azerbaijan Grand Prix coming up this weekend. McLaren now sit just eight points behind Red Bull in the constructors' standings, and while Red Bull continues their downward spiral, McLaren will hope to overtake the Austrian team in Baku. With McLaren now backing Norris in the title fight, things could get tricky for both drivers as they balance personal ambitions with the team's goals. Piastri has made it clear he won't always give way, so it'll be interesting to see how McLaren manages this delicate situation in the final stretch of the season. Will they be able to keep both drivers happy while chasing both championships? What do you think? Should Piastri step aside to help Norris, or should he keep pushing for his own results? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest F1 news.